So this is what I affectionately call the brand bullseye. One of my favorite tools in developing your brand. Now, you can Google brand bullseye and you'll get seven million results. None of them just like this, because this is mine that I borrowed from Ford Motor Company a few years ago. I plan on giving it back when I'm done, but yes, this is something you won't necessarily find on the internet. But it's very powerful in its simplicity. There's only four sections that can tell your brand story and really develop your entire communication strategy and tactics. So let's take a look at that. Uh, right hand corner, product. What is it that you do? This is the easy part. What is it that you do? What is the service you provide? And how do people categorize you? How do people Google you? Is it in-home care? Is it assisted living? Or is it a real estate expert that people maybe not even know that exists? So product on the right-hand side. Number two, image. How do you want to be perceived within that service category? Because you cannot be for everyone. Cannot be for everyone. So what's your impression? What's the personality? And why should they like you? The image. Number three on the bottom, value and benefits. Now, be very clear. These are not the features that you do. This is what the benefits that the customer receives from your features. How are they going to be better off and how are they going to feel when they're using your service? And finally, USP in the middle, unique selling proposition. What is the one thing, the one thing that differentiates you and answers the question, why you? I like to call that your superpower. Now, to, my suggestion would be to complete the chart for yourself and three of your closest competitors. Do it for yourself and three of your closest competitors. And then you can use it to evaluate all your communication messaging and train your employees so that every one of your employees knows what is your superpower.